let's see how this works. I got the microphone over here plugged in. Seeing if YouTube Live is up going. I'll refresh this. Oh, there you go. Okay, there we go. Oh, I got to turn off this microphone. All right, there you go. Now we're ready. I came on a couple minutes early. I don't know. I'm just kind of drawing live. I'm drawing live on Instagram and YouTube at the same time with different camera angles. So if you're excited about that, go over to Instagram for an angle over here. This is the camera right over here. All right? Kind of. So I don't know. I'm going to be drawing some capybaras because I like capybaras. We'll be asking questions for some responses. You know, like, do we want baby capybaras because they're super cute? Or cartoon capybaras? I don't know. I've been thinking about capybaras a lot and whether I should do, like, a book with capybaras. That's kind of where this is coming from. So, like, we'll see. Oh, I also got, let's see, I got colored pencils. I got markers. We're going to work in this cool sketchbook I got. Oh, you can't really see the sketchbook, but it's big. As you can see from the size of my hand, it's big. So, capybaras, sketching, I don't know. If you like capybaras, then you're in the right place. I keep doing the nose wrong on capybaras. But, they're so chill, you know? I like that. I like chill animals. I think I'd like capybaras. You know, I've been taking care of goats, and I've realize that taking care of farm animals is a lot of work and just cleaning and taking care of water and stuff so capybaras would be fun but i don't know you know um oh hey everyone everyone's here wow there's already like that many people here cool welcome everybody puka kirby una kirby again I am, what am I? I am like the Ryan Sias on Instagram. So you can check out there. And then, uh, are you guys fans of capybaras? I know it's really late where Una is on the planet. But yeah, they got those crazy feet. We'll draw more crazy feet. It looks like a fantasy animal. And uh, yeah, so the Instagram, I don't know. It's a different camera angle. I'm trying to be better at posting to all social media. So we'll see. I guess kind of I'm on YouTube the most. So, all right, well, if we got people here, we can get the party started, right? All right, let's see here. I got my iPad down here. Is there any kind of capybaras anyone wants to see? Like, uh, baby capybaras or any kind of funny capybaras i don't know what funny capybaras mean but you know i was thinking of um mm, i don't know capybaras i don't have any real answer for besides that and then we'll see here oh i have capybaras over here on this computer oh i was gonna look over here on uh see all right i have so many computers right now i got this computer this computer, I got a cell phone over here streaming live, and then I got a computer over here that's got pictures of capybaras, and then I got my my iPad here so I can attempt to see. My iPad doesn't have enough uh, power. Normally I do my chat on my iPad so I can uh, comment, but my iPad doesn't have enough power so it's on my wife's computer, therefore I can't really comment on, well, I can comment but then it'd be like her comments and she doesn't really want that so very good so let's see if i can get myself up on the screen do 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 so how's everyone doing today out there in the internets all right there we are that all right i have that up now so i can watch all right, we'll just do this then. We'll see if this is gonna work. I have so many screens on. Let's see, someone, oh. Oh, hello, Owly. I guess I know who that is. 
All right, welcome. We'll, we'll have to draw Ollie because you're so excited about Ollie. So we'll do a swamp Ollie. So here you go, Capybaras, in my new sketchbook. Let's see if we can come up with something funny first. Look at this cool pencil I got. This is like a, you see, it's like a, ooh, focus is down here. Oh, how do I even get it to extend out? Oh, I got screwed in. It's like a technical pencil, but it looks like a normal pencil that's real fat. I like that because it's easy to grab. So apparently the end cap would come unscrewed. I'm not really using the eraser because if I use the eraser, then um, it'll go away forever. But I can replace the lead. All right. Let's see here. I'm doing good. I mean, you know, I got a been working on my live setup. Drawing capybaras is always good. I've always wanted to see a capybara in real life. I have not. So they seem so chill. All right. Any funny ideas for capybaras or? Let's see. What else can we draw? Let's let's see. Let's look at capybaras. I got pictures over here. Capybaras. I mean, I got the one for the thumbnail. Here's what I'm finding: is the capybaras are bricks. And like, this is how I draw capybaras now. I basically, start with a square and then another big old rectangle, which is I guess this is kind of what sheep and everything are. And then the legs, right? So like a little curve. And they have the uh, eyes, and then. No, but the funny part is their lips to me. And they got these big old teeth. Have you ever seen cat capybara's teeth underneath when they eat something? It's pretty big. All right, I guess I needed a better plan of what I'm drawing with capybaras. I'm just kind of free freewheeling capybaras. Let's pick something, capybaras, and then we'll do that, and then we'll get we're gonna get it going. Let's let's draw a capybara with something on its head. Everyone likes that. I got my pencil here to get started. We'll start up in this corner. Capybara with something chilling on its head. There's always seems to be something on capybara's head. So we got the brick I was telling you about, kind of the basic shape, and their little rump hanging out. And they got some. Oh, yeah, they're so much. They're kind of hairy and kind of not on the feet. I tell you, I've been taking care of goats, right? And like, it's been interesting to see how tiny and rough their feet are. So that's good. All right, this cat bear is gonna be so chill. He's just gonna have like his eyes kind of closed. Party hat, great. All right, should he be more excited? This is like a chill one. Maybe I should draw an excited cat bear since you never see excited. Capybaras. Let's draw. Well, I'll finish this one in a second. I'll just do a little bit more on this, and then we'll move over and we'll ink them all later. Like Capybara with a party hat. Should he have on sunglasses? Because he's like, should he be dancing and make him like a cartoon character? Let's do a party hat. I like that. All right. I'm gonna start with the brick again. I want to make him standing up, kind of like a Bugs Bunny character. I'm always surprised there hasn't been like a capybara. Like, I'm sure it must be animated somewhere, right? I just haven't seen it because it's not somehow not showing up. Probably because it's we're in the U.S. It's not really happening in the U.S. <coughs> Excuse me. I was really sick the last couple of weeks. I had some kind of flu or something, and um. Yeah, dancing. And then capybaras. Capybaras got really kind of funky eye. Not funky eyes. They're just kind of, well, they're just kind of slits. Kind of not. They kind of look like they're always resting, right? A big old nose. We're going to draw them. We'll draw, we can draw it so you can see his teeth. They have, obviously, since they're big rodents, they have like mice teeth, right? Oh, don't use this eraser because then it's gone forever. Let me see if I can move this better over here. All right, I'm gonna give him cartoon eyes though, because he's having a good time. This is really not working for me to have an eraser on a separate, separate thing. All right, let's give him the one set of teeth. 
He's dancing. Maybe he's got on something crazy. Like, what else could he be wearing? What else could Capybara be wearing this party? Maybe he could be wearing some kind of crazy shirt. We'll give him a crazy shirt. We can figure out what's on the shirt later. Right now, I just need the shirt in place. And then we'll make them... Uh, Sometimes capybaras seem to have dark noses and sometimes they seem to have light noses. I can't figure out if there's different kinds of capybaras. Which means there probably is. Maybe one's female, one's male. I don't really know. Alright, we got capybara going down here. Dancing, having a good time. I should be holding it in his hand. like a, I got a hand down here. He can be holding something. I've also noticed they have these kind of pointy little, not jaws, I don't know, edges of the fur. All right, I need to get my pencil, my pencil sharpener. Like I've told you before, I got this for a quarter at like a thrift store. This is the best pencil sharpener I own and I've bought many expensive pencil sharpeners over the years. So doing this. All right, here we go. We'll get some going here so you can see it a little better. Oh, I guess I was gonna make the nose a little darker this time. Yep. Yeah. And I'm working in the sketchbook. I normally don't work in sketchbooks. I normally just keep my sketchbooks, it's almost just like they're idea things versus like a drawing, nice drawings in them. But I think that's more popular on a YouTube and stuff that you have this fantasy you have this beautiful sketchbook my sketchbooks are just full of random ideas there's no uh, they're not like beautiful illustrations normally you know that's everyone to their own however you want to keep your sketchbook I wish I, I should go get my sketchbook I just wrote it in today <coughs> let's see Yeah, this is my sketchbook. See, keep uploading. My goal is 100 videos. That's I wrote that before Thanksgiving last year when I kind of stopped. But this is just my sketchbook. As you can see, there's no beautiful illustrations in it. It's just junk. Well, not junks. It's ideas. I just keep my ideas in sketchbooks. Guinea pigs. There's some earlier capybaras I was drawn. I do have like a little nice sketchbook. This is the one I kept for a little while, but I haven't been doing it. I'm trying to do get back in the swing of having sketchbooks, but let's see. And I was experimenting, drawing real fruit. I can do it, but it's fun, but not fun all in the same moment. Look at this crazy guy. I like that guy. Kind of maybe I should be doing more crazy stuff like that. And then I was drawing random stuff off the internet. I don't know, some nurse having a hard day. I don't even know what that was. There you go. That's a nice sketchbook. But I'm trying to do a little bit more of that here. We'll get this capybara going. Stay focused. On the capybara. Any ideas what we should put on his shirt or her shirt? Doesn't have to be a boy capybara. It can be a girl capybara. I have like little tails? No? I don't know. They have these crazy feet. They're like Miyazaki character, the feet. Having a good time, capybaras dancing. And today I brought my tea over with me, so working and having tea. Wee! Look at the lighting; it's so much better, right? I really worked on the lighting today for this live event. All right, we'll get this nose a little darker up in here. I'll get some color out. Let's color them for once. I've been doing so much of black and white. Do you think capybara? They're kind of orange. 
I mean, I know I'm looking at a picture of Capybara, but orange, I think, is the way. Orange and kind of brown, kind of somewhere in the middle, right? Orangey brown. This is kind of orange, not super orange. Let me get this up more in the center of the screen. Let's give them a little bit of color here and give them a little bit of life. So yeah, oh, uh, we are going to try, I'm going to try when maybe next week doing like a really early stream as you'd suggested. So we'll see what time, what day and week that's going to work out for me, but I'm up early in the morning anyway, so. Might as well give it a try. I got a little pink for the tongue or red. I don't know what color capybara's tongues are. We'll make it red. And we'll give them, let's see if we got orange, we should be purple. So we'll give them some purple polka dot hat. Which is the opposite of orange. There we go. Kind of orange. Uh, has anyone ever touched a capybara before? I've always wanted to. I've never even seen one in real life. I don't know what zoo around me has them, so. Must be somewhere. I think they're like all over the place in South America. Bear is looking good here. Pink tongue. Mm, all right, well, too late. I already colored it red, but pink tongue would be good for next time. All right, use a little pink right there. We'll give him some pink polka dots to bring out the pinkness. Any ideas for a funny shirt? Kind of give him his weird sleeves now. Well, that's kind of became a mess. All right, well, there's Party Capybara. I'm gonna blow up and put, put something up on his head. Let me move this over. It's really weird trying to have work like two camera shots at the same time. Let's see. I got some people on Instagram, yo. I know you got a bad angle, but I'm also on YouTube, so that's kind of what this the kind of bad angle is. The main camera is on YouTube. What should I put on the capybara's head? I think he should have like a bird or like a, we'll give him a little bird on top of his head. They always seem to have birds on top of their heads. I guess as they're so chill. They have a bird on their head. No one minds. Capybara doesn't mind the bird on the head. And then we'll draw their crazy feet again. I like their crazy feet. They kind of look like like lizard feet. Or I guess they're, I've been reading that they're kind of most like hippos. So I guess it's kind of a hippo thing. So I guess they're supposed to be, not supposed to be, they are related to hippos somehow. You know, I should have looked up some capybaras facts before I started doing this. But I was just like, I'm gonna draw some capybaras. I should do it on YouTube if I'm gonna bother doing it. And now I'm here without any capybara facts. And it feels a little wrong. I should have done more homework before I did this. But that's okay. I'm gonna try using some markers. Where's my markers at? Um, is this one black or what is this? I gotta test it over here. All right, good, a black marker. This is a good, I got a Copec marker. Copec black, ooh, focus is down here. So let's try that. Let's give it a simple bird. Nothing fancy, and we can color it fancy if we'd like. 
There's that. And we'll do them. I kind of like these brush tips. If anyone's tried to use the brush tip, I really enjoy it. Try to make it look like a brush. I'm going to give them little teeth hanging out, even though I know their teeth don't hang out. But it's cuter that way. Sometimes it's like, what's real and what it works in a drawing? Right? Una understands. Nostril. Sometimes the no nostril on these on cabin bears to me looks like their eyes. Right? Because it's kind of right there. Kind of in front. But yeah. I remember the first time I saw a capybara on some nature documentary and I was like, what is that? What is that? I don't know. But then you learn, right? I'm amazed on nature documentaries how there's always like a new animal or new bug I've never heard of. I'm like an old man. I feel as though I should know all the animals that exist. But um, nope. There's always something new. Somewhere in the world. Yeah, wow, I never heard of that before. All right, there's a that's a good looking capybara, right? I think next one I'm gonna draw him in like a tub. Look at this. Oh I got this cool black marker or black eraser. Oh yes. Una, tell me a joke about capybaras, please. That would be dynamite. Hope this is dry, the ink uh, looks like it is very good so yeah tell me the joke capybara jokes it's what we need more of all right that's better with the black lines and the color pencils smooth looking all right let's use this why did the capybara become an author Mmm, I don't know. It's a good question. Give me the why did Captain Bear become an author? I don't know. Alright, we're gonna make up orange here while Una gives me the punchline. I'm just gonna I keep gonna keep the color. I got more two cap cut over here with the color. Oh, he had a tale to tell. Eee, so cute. Love it. That's great, Una. Thank you so much for the capybara joke. Love it. Maybe I should draw a capybara like reading a book. Or sleeping with a book or something. Or I was going to draw a capybara like in a pool. Because I always see pictures of them in the pools. Maybe I'll have a book with them in the pool. You know? All right, I'll make this bird just a little, some kind of blue bird. I don't know what it is. Oh, popcorn. Boop, boop. Yo, panda. Thanks for logging on. I'm drawing Kappa Bears. This is the best one so far. This one got a little too cray cray. Can I say cray cray? Probably not. That's like an old, old man's word. What color should I make the nose if I'm making them? I think they, get, they do have darker noses. The more I'm looking at capybaras here online. I for some reason thought they had like light noses. But it looks like it's always darker. Well, we'll try a little darker here with the brown. I've been debating if I get some kind of, I've been seeing these like watercolor pens that are like marker, but they're watercolor. You can like activate them with water and stuff. We'll see. We'll, we'll give it some hairs. Uh, a little shading, I guess. All right, I think we're getting there. We're getting improvement each time. That's looking good. I like that. You like that? Yes. The answer is yes. You do like that because it's good. All right. I'm going to move some stuff around here for a second to um, 
get another page over here. And we're gonna draw a capybara in the pool. Excuse me as I move my cameras all over the place to get this in the center of the page of the image. You can hear my audio moving all over the place as I'm moving the microphone all over the place. The jumble of things going on over here. And this right here, let's do this. Okay, now we're set up. I wanna draw, oh, capybara. Yeah, I'm gonna draw them in a pool. I like them when they're in pools. They look so relaxed. Maybe I'll draw a couple in a pool, like more than one. Capybaras, let's see. Swimming in pools, I'm looking online. Capybara in pool, in tub, in pool. No, not in pool, because that's them swimming underwater. They basically swim like hippos underwater. Is what I've learned from videos. Oh, here you go. Capybaras in tubs. They are, why are they in tubs with lemons? Anyone have an answer for that? Tubs with lemons. All right, we're going to combine a few things here. Let's do a big drawing here. First, I'll draw the tub. Has anyone online seen a capybara in real life? I'd like to know. Oh, they play with the balls in the pool. Oh, I got gotcha. you. See, I'm learning facts. Oh, I'm liking my own video. I meant to like the comment, Una, you did. Oh, well. All right, we'll do, him in a, we'll do one in a pool. I'm liking my own video, that's kind of sad. I didn't mean to like my own video on YouTube, but that's what happened. So, all right, let's see here. We got one. Oh, I kind of wanted a big one, but now, all right, we'll draw him facing us. We'll do kind of one here in the pool. Then we'll do one. I'll make the pool a little bigger. How about that? That's why I do light sketches first, so they could be a little bigger, or you can change them up. And one's kind of on the edge. They seem to like to hang out on the edge sometimes. This guy's like down in the pool. Normally they're splashing water over the edge. This guy's kind of up on the edge of the pool. I don't know if he's looking for food or what he's doing. All right, we're changing the location of the pool so far. Need my black eraser here. And then we got him up on the edge of the pool. Look at our little three-quarter view of this. I'm always amazed how high up their eyes are, a little higher up than I think they should be. A little shorter nose than that. They kind of don't even look like they're smiling. They're just kind of chilling, I guess. their arms out or the feet on the edge of the pool they got pretty crazy webbed feet we should do a close-up of a foot here in a second and this guy is just like in down in the water I guess I need the pool more around out here so we can see inside the pool right. His face right here Let's see, what do you say, Uno? Well, these are not supposed to beat up. Like I got, here's three different erasers. Some of these like make a lot of little, you can't see, but these are little tiny crumbs. And then this one's also really tiny, tiny crumbs. This one, the crumbs kind of stick together. So they're not as ultra tiny. That's the only difference I know. That's the point of this eraser. It's new to me. I don't know. I'm kind of experimenting. My wife is really into like, is this eraser better than that eraser? So I've been learning. I don't really know. 
the I well I guess explain why. The one is black. I don't think it's better. Just less crummy, less crumbs. But for me, I guess kind of use whatever erasers I have lying around. That's basically how I work. If it's on the back of pencil, use it because that's all I know. All right, got the little ears. I'm gonna give it lemons because I like the look of lemons in the pool. And then of course he's got a lemon up on top of his head. And then there'll be lemons floating around in the pool. His eyes will be kind of more squinty because he's chilling in the pool. I think I'm saying chilling too much. But like I said, you, know, you don't need those fancy razors. That's just me trying some stuff out. Any eraser works. That's the first time I've bought a fancy eraser in my entire life. Normally it's just whatever, whatever erasers are there. But I have started to notice there is a difference. If you need something for colored pencils, you need a certain eraser if you're getting into it like that. I seem to be using colored pencils more and more, so, so I've been kind of experimenting a little bit with uh, that. But I would get hung up on it. Camper Bears. But yeah, I don't think anyone, any, I don't think I've met anyone. Uh, what do you got here, Una? Yeah, what happened when you tested all three types of your erasers? Did it notice any difference? No, that's, your finger is not gonna solve the problem. I'm gonna move over here. I'm get this big old arm in here. This guy's chilling. Maybe there's a, should be a little one over here. Maybe this is enough. Let's close off this pool. We can move on to a different drawing. Let me just tub a little smaller, a little shorter, I guess. Got some a band on it to keep it together like an old wood barrel, right? Yeah, I think it's just the different erasers for different things. I think you're right. I think that's kind of what. I think that's kind of what it is. Depends on what you need it for. Which makes sense, of course, right? Different materials would be different. Different. Try to make it, oh, look at that, all oh, uneven. Right. Right, we're in the pool. Got it kind of in shape. His eyes should be probably a little higher. Let's see, what does he look like? Mm, he's kind of more way out here. Oh, there you go. Lemons. Yeah, lemons in the water. Water coming out because he's moving around. Splashing down below. Maybe there's a lemon down here. It fell out. Lemons in the pools. All right. I think I'm going to start inking this. I feel as though everything's kind of in shape. And then whatever happens with the ink will, is what will happen. Might not be perfect, but it'll be something. You know? That's how I'm trying to look at all this. Is that don't have to be the most perfect illustration or drawing ever. It just has to be something. Like we're just hanging out and drawing. Right? Hanging out. Let's see, what am I doing over here? Oh, and well, people, if you like my capybaras, please give me a like on my video. will help out a lot. I'm trying to get it all going. So you all know enough. To know that likes make a difference. All right, here we go. We're using this Copic marker again. Over here, it is nice. I'm not totally like a marker person, but I've been trying. 
because it looks good on camera. Before I was using Crayola markers, which I still really like, but you gotta use something a little fancier, I think. My Copa markers are kind of expensive, so I don't have a lot of them. I only have like two. This being one of the two, you know? Yeah, I like inking too. It's kind of, you kind of get it. I've been trying not to finish my pencils as super tight so I can let the do more with the inks, you know? I used to try to get everything super, super tight with the pencils, and then I found the inking to be not as exciting because it's kind of too planned, I guess, I would say. You gotta kind of let it do its thing. Lemons in the water. Got a big old line down here. Whoosh. I like the big old swift lines. All right, here we go, looking good. He's on the edge of the, he's on the edge of the thing. I gotta move my microphone down here. I checked my audio for the Shrek stuff and it was a little echoey in the room. So I'm trying to be better about keeping my microphone kind of in close to my mouth. You know, I probably need a better microphone. Well, I have a good microphone. I need like a mic stand that would like, or I can move it around, keep it closer. You know, right, here we go. There's some water here. It's like it's splashing in real time. All right. Well, I'm looking over here at something. Hey, we got some people on Instagram. Hello, Instagram people. Another splash kind of over here. So as I said, I've been taking care of, been volunteering at a animal rescue place that has goats, and I've been taking care of goats and ducks. And uh, I can tell you, capybaras are probably pretty messy. All these animals are—they need to just be out in nature where you don't have to like have it be clean or anything. They can just be messy and natural, you know. But I'm happy to take care of goats and hang out with goats. I'm going to try to post some content with the goats soon because they're pretty funny. As you would imagine, goats are. But one goat, her name is Miss Jacobs. She does not like being on camera, like, at all. Like, you pull out your camera and she, like, she's like, turns away. No thanks. Or she baws at me. Eh, bah. Get away. So then, I respect her, so I don't. I put the camera away. But they got personalities for sure. All right, let's put this metal beam in here that keeps the barrel together. Did you know that crackers used to be shipped in barrels, like wooden barrels like this? That's why they're called Cracker Barrels. It's a restaurant here in the U.S. They ship them just in a big, big old wooden thing like this. At some point they started putting them in bags, but before they guess were shipped in barrel, big old barrel. Imagine getting a barrel of crackers. I mean, it would be delicious, but I don't trust it to mm, be not stale. I guess that's how they take them on boats and stuff, you know? Which I guess makes sense. It just kind of blew my mind. But I guess they didn't have plastic back in the olden days, right? So that's how you'd have to uh, take your crackers with you. Oh, I'm really enjoying this Copic marker now that I'm kind of using it a bunch. My problem is the markers, which I know, I like them when they're super pointy and super sharp. But then as I use them, I kind of like wear them down. And then it's, you got to get the new marker. But that's true for all art supplies. 
you get paint brushes every once in a while you gotta replace the paint brush it doesn't stay sharp forever you know all right here we go look at this looking pretty good right my barrels looking pretty good looking like a wood barrel this up a little bit. I keep pulling it down towards me so it keeps kind of sliding down. All right, I think our capybara is looking pretty good here. I think I got everything kind of in. So I'm going to let that dry for like a second and then we will erase it and then we'll try another page of capybaras. I got my tea right over here. I got some black tea. Some black tea. This is a mug I got from the thrift store also. So thrift store stuff all over the place. Okay, so I think this is dry now. I'm using this black eraser because it the eraser shreds stick together more. It's been working pretty great so far. But I'm working, my studio room is carpet. And so I always worry about getting too much pencil eraser all over the place. It's kind of why I'd like to be using pastels, but it's like a total mess. So definitely not for some place with carpet unless you don't mind destroying the carpet. Oh, I didn't ink these little edges over here. All right, we're not done yet. You ever had that, Una, when you ink something and then you, well, after you erase it, you see that you uh, miss inking something like the edges of this. The edges of this. I missed it. All right, so people can be thinking about what capybara thing they want me to draw next. Let's see. We could do baby capybaras. I'm drawing it in the tub. Eating watermelons. Mm, something on its head, I've done that. Baby underwater, swimming underwater. Or we could do some crazy funny expressions or sleeping. What do you want? Sleeping? I don't know. Or look at some pictures of capybaras and let me know if there's something you see that you'd be like, oh, it'd be fun to see him draw this. You can take, I'm taking requests on Instagram and YouTube. Whatever you got. All right, let's draw this. I need some lines here for the wood grain. This metal thing down, metal ribbing, whatever. I might not color this right now. I should color it now. Baby capybaras. All right. Does anyone know, do they have like a lot of babies at once? They must. I think hippos only have like one baby at a time, right? Like have you guys seen the internet hippo baby Fiona? Even though I realize now she's an adult hippo, but she used to be a little baby hippo and it was super cute. They're kind of gummy looking when they're babies. Anyone else seen that? Baby camper bears. Let's do that. All right, we're going to color this. This is my Copac marker. I like the orange and the brown we did last time. So we're going to do that. All right. Capybaras seem to come in multiple colors. I'm guessing there's different kinds of capybaras or it's like a male female thing. As I said, I should have done more homework on capybaras, but I didn't. So. I just wanted to draw them. You know, I work in animation and stuff, so I don't always get time to practice or draw things necessarily that I want, I would say. I'm drawing things I'm getting paid to draw, right? So every once in a while, you got to do something where you're drawing what you want to draw.
I'm using the edge of the pencil to try to smudge, not smudge it, but like get a wider area. It's looking pretty good, looking pretty capybara-like. Add a little more color here, a little yellow. You know, I don't, they're not really yellow, but I need another layer for the colored pencils. And give it some little hairlines. Give it some more depth. If I use just one color of colored pencils, then it just looks like the one color. If I use more colors, right, it brings the colors alive a little bit more. Right. And we have a little reflection color up in there, fur of the blue underneath, the blue water. That blue water right here. I'll put a little blue in there, black. That'll be kind of nice, probably. A little blue up here. Blue in the middle. Yeah, I'm just using blue all over the place. I'm going crazy with the blue. All right, pink. Black hands. They have those super dark, wrinkly hands. Have you ever? They always. Capybara hands always make me think. Have you seen a Miyazaki's movie Princess Mononoke? They look like the feet of the creature at the end to me. Which maybe he's looking at capybaras. I don't know. Little hairs all over the place. Oh, I gotta color the lemons too, right? Don't forget the lemons. I need like a better, darker orange. I don't wanna go like too dark. It's too too dark. I don't have the most widest variety of colors with my color with my colored pencils, so I don't have dark burnt orange in my colors, so, oh well. As we're going for, this is not the most realistic capybara coloring. It's kind of cartoon coloring, kind of not, all in the same moment. A little bit of both. And so that's kind of what my art is, kind of a little bit of both. A little cartoony, a little not. I don't know for YouTube if people want to be seen like really cartoony stuff. I think they like the stuff that's a little more realistic. But I don't know. That's why we're experimenting. All right, I'm gonna use gray for the bucket, the pail. I think it'll separate them out from the capybaras a little bit. If I use brown, it'll just be brown and brown you know that's no fun i'll let the i don't have to color it all the way gray i'll let it be a little spotty like this so it looks more like wood texture you know all right this is looking pretty good put some in here I gotta separate these two. I got this. Yeah. In between cartoony, Una, and real, somewhere. It's kind of what I'm doing right now. Is this kind of what you're looking for, you think? I think real cartoony is kind of out of out of fashion at the moment. It's kind of my feel. I'm using this white to kind of create a line between these two capybaras. All right, looking pretty good. 
We're going to do this metal down here. Then we're going to move on to something else. Baby capybaras. Uh, kind of like this. Blue. Anyway. Can you hear my pencils moving around? Maybe you can. Maybe you can't. I should have used teal with a bit of better color. I can do some. I know what to do. I like teal a little more than blue. All right, good. This style is good. Kind of in between, right? That's what my sense was. I'm going to do a little bit of highlights on the water. Plus, I can't. I can do like. Super real, but I actually kind of don't enjoy it. No, it's not going to work. So we'll leave this be. All right, I think this is it for this one. Let's see, I got this one idea here. All right, I think I'm done. Oh, I'm going to put a little thing between them. I guess this black works with the orange. Separate it out a little bit. All right, I'm done. Even though I'm still touching it, I'm done. All right, looking good. All right, now here is this one's done. I got my colored pencils finally in the grip of my hand. That's how I work. I just hold my colored pencils. So I don't want to like reach over and find them again. I just want to hold them. I'm gonna put these down and then we're gonna get to a new page. Oh, marker bleds through. Did that bleed through over this other thing? Oh, oh well. All right, we're doing one page at a time. All right, we're gonna do some baby capybaras over here. New blank page. Instagram, one person. Tick or YouTube four. Killing it five all together. All right, let's see here. Baby capybaras. Baby. I think I should draw a baby with mom so you can get the scale. Baby just by itself it doesn't it just looks like a small capybara, you know. Let's see here. I'm looking at reference pictures of capy baby capybaras. to get an idea. They're just kind of tiny. They're like ee! minis. Oh, baby capybaras are not showing me much baby capybara. It, oh, let's see. Baby, hold on. We're still looking for baby capybara. Baby, not in tub, just baby. Baby, go to the search. Capybara, baby. Ah, here we go. Oh, they are different. They're more squat. Right, we just draw a baby. We'll draw a couple baby capybaras. Wee, they're so cute. Let's see here. We're gonna do some sketches over here. I come up with what we're drawing with the baby capybaras. Let's see. Mm. No, not that. I'm trying to not go directly. If I'm trying to keep a good sketchbook, I need to kind of like. Nope. Yeah, they are cute. They have their shorter nose when they're babies, capybaras, it looks like. It looks like there's a looks like there's a normally a group of them, like three or so. All right, let's see. This is a test. I can draw the test with a pencil so we can see it. I'm gonna draw with a crazy color. Does this show up on the camera very well? Yes. Okay. So let's see. How do we draw baby capybaras? bears? They're kind of round, unlike mm, parents being more square. I have the eye. Oh, here, it's not not quite cute enough. 
Let's see. And it's just like a shorter nose is the trick. Yes, smaller to shorter nose. Let's see. We'll experiment here and we'll figure it out. This looks kind of like a baby capybara, right? This thing right here. It's kind of hard to see that. I should have. Right. Where's my black pencil? Over here. Some. That's kind of baby like. Kind of. All right, let's try another one. Another baby capybara. We'll make, make one facing forward. Maybe that'll be... I think we need the short nose to really get the... Uh... Just smaller. We might need to have mom around. Well, that kind of looks like a, this is like baby capybara. Let's see, number one. Number two. Kind of looks like a hippo here. Or maybe we just need mom and the capybara together. Maybe that'll answer the questions. Hmm. Well, another idea for after this is eating watermelon. I think they really like watermelon, is what the internet's telling me. Shorter head. Yeah, which one do you like? Go to number one or number two more? We're trying to get a look here, baby capybaras. Um, they kind of seem like they're together all the time. Yeah, this is how I figure drawings out. This is how I figure out characters in drawing when I'm drawing all the time. Just keep drawing it. Number two, all right, let's go with that for the moment. We'll keep going though, because I don't feel as though I quite get that. I get it, but like, let's see here. What are we gonna do with them now? I think that should be, I think they're kind of, oh. Let's do small thumbnails. Maybe they're kind of playing together. I don't want to see them playing. They just kind of like the capybaras just seem to be kind of sitting around all the time or falling asleep. Oh, we could draw cap baby back capybara on the back of mom capybara. Like mom's in the water like this. This is kind of cute. And then baby capybara is like on her back up here. Maybe we'll do that. That's kind of cute. What do we think about this idea right here? Can you see it? And then we get a little reflection. We don't need a reflection though, but. but this is number three. Maybe that's more like a pose. Can you see that? And then, um, what else we got here?
Otherwise, they're just kind of together. Or we can have one sitting and one kind of crawling on its back. Both baby capybaras. Or this, can you see this? These are both baby capybaras. I don't know if this is gonna blur out if I get it closer. Baby capybaras on the back or on mom's back? Maybe mom's back's pretty cute. This forward facing capybara always looks kind of weird to me. We'll try one more here. Or there could be what it was like watermelon. And baby capybara. Probably bigger than that. Be chewing on the. Okay, let's see. The watermelon. We'll do a slice of a triangle of watermelon. Chew mark out. And how are they? Chew. Mm, that doesn't look that good. All right, I think I'm gonna go with this one because that looks the best to me. Oh no! Hold on, I just spilled tea on my iPad. I was worried having tea near my workspace is always danger. You know, be careful, everyone. Looks as though that's all wiped off. So good. Okay, good. All right, my sleeve is all wet now though, because I was doing that. All right, let's do this. I'll leave that up there for me. You can't see that. We're going to sketch this out right here and um, do this. All right. I'm going to put it in the water. We'll draw through the water a little bit so we can see mom underneath. And we'll put baby capybara up on her back. They're small, but they're still kind of big. Arms reaching out because hold, holding on. Shorter nose. Yeah, not the iPad. You gotta be careful. The other day I spilled water also. I tend not to keep drinks near my computers because I spill stuff all the time. But the iPad's fine. It just got right on the middle of the screen. It didn't go down the corner, you know, into the computer part of this iPad. So I think it'll be okay. But danger. But I was like, well, I'm going to be streaming for a while. I need to have um, something to drink because I'm talking all the time. Normally when I'm drawing, I'm not actually really talking, right? When you're drawing by yourself at home, you're not really talking. No, this is not right at all. See? It clumped together like this in a big old clump. That's what it's for. This is mom over here. Keep the nose above water. Might have to tilt that head a little bit more. And there we go. I think that's more correct. I'm gonna have her watching her baby on the back. Here, mom. Mm, yeah, a little bottle would work. If it had a cap, that would be way safer. 
I just have like, as you saw, an open cup. So yeah, exactly. You don't want to spill it. It's dangerous. All right, put this little critter on the back here. Little baby. Looking down at mom. Why is that? Those little, little baby ones are tough, man. Yeah, or I, yeah, you're right. Or I need a mug with a cup. Mug with a cap. That's a good idea. I need like a thermos. All right. All right. Do capybaras have tails? Have we? I liked your joke with the tail. Do capybaras have tails? They must. Yes, they do have tails, but they're just really short, it seems like. All right, a little tiny tail. Kind of like you don't even see it almost. But there is a tail there. So let's do that. And then we'll get like a little reflection down here. All right, this is what my baby cat bear is going to look like. Does it look like this capybara? Mm. This one's way cuter. Let's get some of this cuteness going on here. There you go, it's already way cuter than it was before. Good thing we did this other looked back at this other drawing. <coughs> to get it right. Or get it cuter. Alright, here we go with this and this and Mom's nose might be too too wide. All right, let's ink this. I want to put this behind it so it doesn't bleed over. I don't think it bleeded through the page, but it, you saw it. All right, we're gonna use this Copac marker again, getting my fingers all dirty. Oy! Sorry, microphone. I guess smacked the microphone with the. hands in here. Get a big old, this would be a little bit of wave if you're on the water. Cute. It's a little small for the size of this brush pen, but we're gonna keep going. So I like how black it is. I need like a tinier brush, but I don't always like using tiny pens or brushes. They become too tiny. All right, I'm saying that's inked.
And then we'll wait to make sure that's dry. Get out by black eraser. Oh, can you hear that? Uh, I was like that sound. That means I'm really erasing. Okay, there's that. We'll color it in. We'll get out my fistful of marker color pencils again. Oh, it's wet all over the desk where I spilled it. Yuck. Hold on, I gotta dry my pencils now and then my hand again because it's wet. You don't wanna use wet. <clears throat> you don't wanna use wet colored pencils. Gross. There we go, we'll get some nice color. I'm gonna put a little further in there. Now that I've colored a few capybaras. I wonder what a teenage capybara looks like. I guess it's just a small adult. I've been thinking about working on a book with a capybara, but now drawing it, I'm like, should I be drawing a baby capybara? But I don't want it to be like a baby book. So I guess it has to be adult capybaras, which is fine. Or it doesn't have to be have an age specifically. It's just a capybara. Just a capybara, right? But my main thing I learned today, I thought the noses were lighter, as you can see in my original drawing well, i'll show it to you later i thought the nose was lighter but no the nose is always darker in almost every capybara i've seen now upon further study that's why if you're trying to learn how to draw a character or an animal you better start drawing it you never know what you're going to learn little fur because they're really coarse like goats but their far fur is not soft would be my guess I bet they're a little coarse fur wouldn't you think yes I know you agree with me it would be a little coarse Because what I say is right. All right, I have pink ears. All right, this time we're going to use our teal. And I like teal as a watercolor. Makes me think more of the beach than like a, yes, blue, but, well, I'm going to use blue too. I'm going to use a little bit of both. But a little reflection blue. I wish I could make that this line. I wish I could have made a blue, but oh well. That requires more markers, which I do not have. Well, that's pretty cute, right? And then I'm gonna add some black. I learned last time that looked pretty good. No! Hey, I just dropped it on the floor. Hey. A little bit of black in here helps. And then does this white work? This is just gonna smudge everything, right? Yep. Well, maybe in the computer I could fix it up. Man, I am just dropping everything. I think we're kind of done here with this. All right, I need one more capybara idea. Something down, put down here. 
That one came out pretty cute, right? Looking good. One more capybara idea. Let's see. Capybara. We'll do an internet search. Capybara funny. Funny? I don't know what that's going to give me. Oh. Capybaras with sunglasses on. Mmm. That's not really funny to me. Come here, baby. All right, done, Capybara baby. Let's see. Cartoon. Mm. In pool with baby, different things on head. Maybe we've done all of our possible capybara art. Capybara's eating ramen. How about just like a capybara just sitting there? Yes, I did that with the thing on the head. Drinking boba tea. Hmm. Maybe we're done for right now. I'm not sure what else to draw here. You have a lot of capybara stickers. What is all this? Let's see. On turtles, in a pool, it's just different stuff on the head. Sleeping capybara. Good idea. Let's do that. Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They sleep kind of funny too. All right. We got a piece of paper. We'll decide which one we're gonna do here. Keep getting that one piece of paper. Okay. Either they're passed out, like looking forward. I don't think we want this. We'll draw it. Oh, you can't see that very well. Sleep in. That's their foot, but we draw that better. If we drew this. It does kind of look like a hippo right here. So either he's sleeping like this. Mm, that's not really the best. Give me some poses of sleeping. Oh, they do kind of stretch out, I guess. You can also be... They sleep with their legs up behind them. find any I mean this seems to be the pose but that this looks like he's kind of like a dead animal let's see Oh, here you go. I think this is how they're actually kind of sleeping. The head, body. They do seem to kind of sleep with their feet kind of out a little bit, it seems like. 
and then elbow here. Oh, I see what's happening. And then body, and then I like that. That's the one. All right, I think this is our sleepy capybara pose right here. Sleepy. But with this eye. All right, so put baby sleeping up here too, for fun. All right, we'll do that. Done. Those are my sketches. I'll put them over here and then we'll do it. Okay, we'll do it right here. Mm -hmm. This kind of looks the same as above, but it's not, it's different. The leg, the foot sticking out with the creepy toes. Body's kind of up here. No, bigger back leg, probably. Oh, that's not looking right. And the little one's like totally passed out up here. I'm pretty sure that's not how babies sleep with the mom, but that's what we're drawing for fun. Oh, nose is shorter on the babies. Looking pretty good here. All right, we're gonna use our marker again so it looks all kind of the same. How about that? Oh, hold on to these. We're getting near the end here. head in sleepy eyes for the baby up here Done that. Oh, eraser. That's not an eraser, that's a marker. Just so you know, in case you were confused. And then erase. I 
see, I might have to sharpen this pencil a little bit because, oi. Now you can see it better. Oh, it's the same. I can move this thing over here. Right there. Move this. I gotta redo my desk a little bit, apparently. It's not uh, being productive for what I needed to do at the moment. So here, drawn sleepy. Capybaras all over the place. I'm not really thrilled with how that baby came out, but too late. No going back. That's the difference. I'm, you know, when you work in computers, you get like a couple of shots. You can make changes, whatever. But when you're on the page, man, you get one shot. You get it right or don't. I worked on computer when I started drawing on paper again a few years ago. It was a little challenging, actually, to get it right because I was so used to being able to go, oh, let's move that over a little bit, or let's fix this nose, like boop, click, 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 and it'd be fixed, but no more. Yeah, their ears are dark. That's the other thing I learned today that I didn't really necessarily know before. And after this, I'm getting on a phone call for a TV sh a cartoon I'm helping someone else develop. So, a busy day. Or still more to go, I guess, in the day. And we'll try another live stream next week. I'm gonna try some in the morning and see how that goes. As Una had suggested, see if we can hit that Europe market and maybe some of Asia over there if I'm on early enough in the morning. Because I used to do a comic strip called Tenderness and that was getting a lot of views in like Singapore for some reason. So, you know, I'm not opposed to it. I'm up early anyway, so. I've never tried streaming early, but it'll be fine, right? It'll be fine. Besides, what's it hurt to try? Nothing. Nothing at all. Let's see, I get some green. A little grass around here. I know they sleep a lot on mud and stuff though, so maybe grass isn't the most accurate accurate thing but there it is as I said I could have done a little more homework apparently before I started drawing capybaras but I did not I just came on here and started drawing like I knew what I was doing all right well if you're still watching well, let's see Oh yeah, I've double tapped on paper sometimes to try to undo a drawing I guess did. Oof, brutal. All right, pink, I'll do like the pink. It kind of helps pop it all a little bit. All right, well, if you've been watching, give me a like. I appreciate you hanging out with me. We're kind of, I'm kind of at the end here. Let's see, what have we drawn so far today? Let's see. We did some sketches that became these. And then I drew this capybara. This was the first one. He got a little crazy there, a little party capybara. And then this one came out looking real good. Oh, I guess I can move this like this. I think this one came out looking real good. And this one came out looking pretty good. This one's a little crazy, but kind of fun. And then we drew these two capybaras. This guy looks pretty good. This one looks pretty good. I'm not crazy about how that nose came out on that, but that's what that is. So 
Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Una, for so many comments on the videos. Thank you, people that watched on Instagram for the first time. And uh, I'll be back next week. I'm not exactly sure when. I have to figure something out. But give me a like if you didn't subscribe. I'm also posting YouTube shorts. I think one's going up tonight, a new YouTube short. And I don't know, we'll be doing more YouTube. I'm trying to take these videos that I'm shooting right now and then edit them into a YouTube video that's not an hour and a half long. Like show the highlights or something. I still haven't figured out what I'm doing yet, but that's part of the plan. So thank you very much. Thank you for all the hearts. I hope you get to bed soon, Una. And I will see you all next week. Bye. Oh, bye. Oh, someone came on. Why is it always when I'm leaving people come on Instagram? I don't know. Well, here's the things I drew on Instagram today live. I was also drawn on YouTube live. I drew these things too. I'm going to be back next week with more. I don't know what I'm drawing next week, but. We'll be back for more, more excitement. All right, everyone. Bye.